the intersection of business and spirituality or spiritual practices is not easy at all. So I'm so happy that we did this morning uh, a circle on Zoom that I uh, tried for the first time. We had uh, about 16 of you participated for about an hour and a half in that uh, little circle where we all started sharing about who we were and uh, where we're from. So it was all around the world. And uh, uh, what, what came immediately as something very unique is that connection that all of us in those 16 people had a, a business background or were in business. There was uh, someone from the corporate, corporate world, another entrepreneur, and uh, all sharing the same uh, opening to this uh, spirituality or this, let's say, mind uh, opening using different ways uh, it can be you know it can be anything it can be meditation it can be a sweat lodge it can be plant medicine and uh, we all started sharing in a very uh, open way things that are difficult to share someone said it's much easier to share about business to spiritual people like I, I think he quoted drum circle than it is to share about spirituality to business people because people think you're crazy or think you're weird or start judging you or uh, start having all kinds of, you know, ideas that are negative. So I found that this was very unique and very helpful for everybody, for me as well, because there are not so many people who are across the business world, uh, which I am still, <laughs> I'm still an investor. I am still in technology and I have done what I've done. And uh, a lot of uh, participants were in that uh, business world right now. And some of them trying to help it or changing. So uh, I'm going to do more of these and I'm inviting you, if you're interested, to join. Um, I thought the other thing that was very, uh, very special was to first of be able to find each other find the weird ones like you know uh, in all humidity what steve jobs would call would have called the crazy ones right because you have to be a little crazy to be able to express that uniqueness of uh, very something else than just this world that we see of the business world and exchange experiences exchange uh, fears being vulnerable being vulnerable as in humble because we're all if we if we if you go through this path humility is is key it's it's the only way if not you're going to be reminded very fast so i'm thinking of a circle which exists now where people can share freely can know each other a bit so we're going to set you know a few basic rules like confidentiality like uh, no sharing of what was discussed, which is what I'm doing now, but like to initiate it. I think that's fine without naming anyone. Uh, no sharing outside and uh, openness. And I'm going to share, uh, like everybody else, experiences which are more difficult to share in a public uh, space like I'm doing now. Anyone can watch this video if they want to, because uh, I've learned in the forest that not everything is for everybody, right? The, uh, masters of the forest I work with do not share. I have content that is not meant to be shared, cannot be shared, uh, only if you are on the path, because otherwise you cannot understand it or uh, you uh, could be even scared by it. So I'm going to share more stories, more deep things, and everybody as well. We had a very even, uh, even sorry, experience of sharing. I, I wasn't the only one talking like I'm doing now in this video and I found extreme value in it because there are ideas and needs that I also have and that I uh, first need being to find the crazy the other crazy ones right <laughs> and so this intersection between business and spirituality is uh, I think really fascinating so if you're interested to join um, I will be posting another one in about uh, let's say two weeks because I'm going nine days in the jungle as of Monday doing a vision quest and a sun dance and so I'm going to be completely offline 
And, uh, and then we are going to, I think, have one of these at least every month for those of you interested. And uh, uh, I think it's going to be a very interesting experience. The other thing, the other difference with business is it doesn't scale. So I'm not expecting, uh, neither judging if there is 10 people, 5 people, 40 people, 100 people. I'm not trying to get it to scale at all, but more like to create a very deep connection with everybody. I have already. And I think everybody could feel that uh, we were all like-minded. So that was super interesting. There is someone, uh, I mean, we all shared issues and, uh, and challenges through that, like not, not thinking you're in the right place or like not thinking you can share this or that. So that's a place for us to share and keep it between us. And uh, if you're interested, just watch the newsletter that is on yawa.news, Y-A-W-A. And uh, I will be sending another invite. And then I think I will close it because uh, the idea is to, to, to create a bond with a number of people and then go through that together. So go through, I don't know, maybe 10 of these calls uh, just just between us and then uh, and then open it again, I guess. But uh, it's a very special thing. I'm very grateful to those who participated. So thank you if you did, all the 16 of you. And for those of you interested, uh, watch <laughs> the emails because uh, I'm going to post about another one if you're interested. And if not, I'm going to keep doing public videos, but I cannot share everything on public videos. And the value of us connecting together is really really important as well so anyway thank you i'm going to go back to my preparation i'm preparing uh, with hundreds of prayers in tobacco so what we do is uh, we have a little uh, uh, fabric in colors there are seven colors i'll explain that in another video and uh, preparing hundreds of prayers so it takes me two or three days to prepare all that those prayers are here to protect the work and then, of course, send good things to everybody. So thank you very much. And uh, I'll see you in the next video or the next uh, Zoom call. I'm really grateful that uh, this is all happening.